The YouTube University strikes again. Because in a previous video I explained that I need an 80 teeth gear here for my gear train on the lathe to be able to cut a 2 mm pitch thread. And there was a comment from Wibbly Wobbly Idiot Vision telling me that maybe I don't need an 80 teeth gear. As long as the relationship between two gears is correct, it could work. And of course he's absolutely right. I didn't think of that. On the same shaft I need two gears in relationship 72-80, which is of course the same as 9 to 10. I don't have 9 or 10 gear. It's also the same than 54 and 60 and the 60 I have here and the 54 I have here inside here. So in theory it should be perfectly possible to make a gear with the material I have here. But of course as always there is a problem with the plate I have here and this is the only one I have I cannot make 54 divisions so change of plans I try to find different combinations see what is possible with the gears I have and the gears I maybe could make but nothing really works as I want to so I made a paper template of an 80 teeth gear and my first idea was to puzzle it here on these three little pieces and then weld them together but I think it's a bit ridiculous so I continued the research in my scrap archives and I came across this thing this is a uh, an old flange completely rusted and the other side is paint and because of the holes in here officially it's not gonna work but if I clean up these four holes and I make four plugs from this thing and weld them in here I think that could work and of course because the thickness is not enough I can reuse some scrap gear that I made this is a complete failure but if I drill and bore this thing out and then clean up the sides here weld it in this is the exact size that I need to fit in my lathe and of course because I don't have the right cutting tool to cut the teeth here in this uh, thing I will make a new one I made this one some time ago and it works perfectly fine but the profile is not uh, what I need I have an official cutter that only works for very small gears like for example this one profile not correct. So what I think I'm gonna do is uh, cut a piece of this shaft and then weld a little piece of high-speed steel on it somewhere and grind the exact cutting tool that I need to make the teeth. But first
great. That will be a press fit. Uh -huh. And this will be a press it out fit. All the little pieces are welded together and of course it's also cooled down now and I hope that these welds will not be too hard to cut here on the lathe. Otherwise I will have to anneal it. This was of course a very light cut, but it seems to work. One, two, three and some really small change. That will do. I think I just made a gear blank from almost nothing. And I also received a box this week from 624 Dudley in the States. And he sent me a very nice little note and a 3 8 collet for my milling machine. And included, he sent me also a puzzle. So that's going to be fun. And this collet is supposed to hold the center finder that I have here in this box, which is of course also a viewer gift. So let's give this thing a try. This looks promising. Uh huh. The last person that used this machine refuse to clean it up. That holds. I think it works. So 624 Dudley in the United States, thank you very much for your comment. I think this is gonna be really useful and of course for the puzzle too. And now that I'm sitting here and thinking a bit, yeah, us. my first plan was to make some kind of cutting tool like this one. But this one has a shape I need to make uh, 60 or less 
teeth gear. To make very small gears I have another one and when I check this one is the 72 and I have to make 80. This is the cutting tool I use on the shaper and both sides are straight. When I check in the 72 gear it fits perfectly which means if I make it 80 the teeth can be straight just like this tool but it's gonna be a little bit too complicated to adapt my boring bar here to put this tool in the other side of course and then off center because the thickness of course and it's not gonna leave enough meat on this side so this idea maybe not probably not if I take my future gear and I put it in place like this and for example I adapt my existing tool what I didn't want to do I think there is enough free space here so this could work perfectly fine without making a new tool because this little thing is really too small to start grinding and changing it uh, making a new one like this I think is a little bit pointless so I'm gonna regrind this one and the next time I need this one we'll see And maybe you're wondering, or maybe not, why not cutting this gear here on the shaper? Let me explain. This system works best when I copy a gear. For example, this one is the original 60 teeth gear and I installed it here in the back something like this for example and I use this gear rack that I install right here and with the movement of the table the whole thing spins and that's how I hope it's not gonna fall down and that's how I can copy the gear so this one 60 this one 60 comes between of course now because I don't have an 80 teeth gear I cannot copy this one so I have to change the whole system build something completely new and the second reason is of course also if I put my to be gear here it doesn't fit it's too big for this uh, system here and I have a dividing head and a milling machine so I think it will be easier to do that way As maybe you can see I did a few test cuts here every time deeper and deeper and I figured out that I can go at full depth in one go so only 80 
uh, divisions, so no problem at all. And also this side will be very easy because it's a 40 to 1, so every two half a turn. Let's do this. I think everything went very well and that was of course until I had to cut the last two teeth of my 80 teeth gear hair. When I rotated I forgot to retract the workpiece so I rotate the gear and of course my cutting tool touched the blank hair and that's where it broke. So now these two last teeth, I think I'm gonna finish them with the file. Primitive. I think I finally made an 80 teeth gear. It was a really long journey. And now I would like to know, of course, if it works. So let's find out. Five. Two one hundredths of I think we're good. <laughs> 